every single brain is potentially brilliant. For 40 years, Tony Buzan has been telling people about mind maps. He was at the Cyberport in Hong Kong on the weekend to encourage students to use these multicolored diagrams to organize their thoughts better. The concept does away with traditional note taking, something that held him back in his student days. A mind map is like a photograph of your thought. A linear note is a mistranslation of your thought. So I suddenly realized that my standard notes were 90% totally irrelevant to my memory. That my memory didn't work with sentences and no one's memory works with sentences. It works with key ideas. That's how we remember. And not only that, but they were all in one color. Now one color is a mono tone of color and mono and tone equal monotone and a monotone is monotonous monotonous it's what the word means monotonous monotonous and if something is monotonous what word do we use to describe it boring to help better illustrate the idea to our reporter Sarah, Tony started to construct a mind map that represented the interview he was giving. Studies done on people who take notes in one colour, on lines, show that within three months of graduating, they've forgotten 80% of what they learnt for their degree. Four years to forget it all in three months. Waste of time. So education was designed in the 1600s, 1700s, especially 18 and 1900s for just recording the information and doing without thinking. And people who learn in the outdated way, the industrial military age way, will not be able to function in the 21st century. As depressing as that may seem, Tony Buzan is most definitely an optimist. For him, there is no such thing as a nature-nurture argument. Everyone's brain has the capacity for genius. But a lot of people are nurtured in the wrong way. Their brains are managed in the wrong way. You can actually see on the slides of babies' brains, if they have not been nurtured, a perfectly healthy baby, but if they're not nurtured well, the slides are like deserts. Little dots, which are the centers of the brain cell, the nucleus, and the occasional little strand connecting. If they have been nurtured, they're like jungles. You know, the brain cells grow and make connections, and that's the nurture. For the South China Morning Post, this is James Moore.